In the past hour, the U.S. declared the coronavirus a public health emergency. And President Trump is planning to keep foreign nationals who may transmit the virus out of the country. All this after American Airlines and Delta suspended all flights to China where the outbreak began. 195 Americans evacuated from the epicenter, now being ordered to stay in quarantine at a military base in California for two weeks. And yesterday, the CDC confirming that first human to human transmission near Chicago. All six Americans who are now infected are in isolation. Now, the U.S. State Department also issued a red alert. It urges Americans not to travel to China. Channel 9's Greg Suskin is at Charlotte Douglas Airport tonight. And, Greg, you heard from some worried passengers. Yeah, I did. People I talked to flying out of here today, they had no idea this had been announced. But it really didn't matter where people were going. They were concerned about it. It was a busy Friday afternoon at Charlotte Douglas, but the coronavirus had some worried about being in large crowds. I had concern coming here to the airport this morning, you know, wondering, you know, if there was people from China coming over here or people going over there. Though we didn't see China listed on any flights on the departures and arrivals board, in only days they'll disappear altogether. Just today, three airlines made announcements about travel to China. They won't fly there. American is suspending China flights immediately through March 27th. Delta suspending flights beginning February 6th through April 30th. The last flight from China to the U.S. is February 5th. And United suspending China flights from February 6th to March 28th. The virus has killed more than 200 people in China and sickened nearly 10,000 more. Travelers we spoke to say good decision by the airlines. I think it's important to consider the safety of all the passengers and all the people, you know, coming back to and from. As the virus is now being called a global health emergency, people we found flying overseas are seeing borders close. The border is closed in Italy. The, the people are checked and the, at the moment is under control. The authorities are working to understand how is the magnitude of the, of the events. And all the major airlines say they are monitoring the situation, of course, and say they could change those dates depending on what happens with the virus and if the U.S. government lifts that travel warning. Scott. All right. Our Greg Suskin live at the airport tonight. A lot of people talking about the coronavirus. Now, actually, before today's announcement, American Airlines pilots sued to stop the flights to and from China. Well, the Allied Pilots Association said continued flights endangered crew members. Now, this will leave some unsettled nerves going into the weekend. Concerns about the outbreak caused a 600 point drop in the Dow today and a 148 point drop in the Nasdaq. We are posting minute by minute updates on the virus on our WSOC News app.